guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm doing an opening of Power of the Primes Beachcomber from Transformers Generations. And uh, this is a pretty cool little guy, and it's known that um, I could not find it at uh, the stores I keep going to. Uh, it was a pain in the ass. They had all the other legends, but not him. And uh, a lot of people knew that because I, I go and I just say, hey, where's Beachcomber? And uh, finally we got that, or Beachcomber, as I used to call it, but then people are like, oh, that's a stupid joke, and I'm just like, that, that joke got old. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and open it. Like so. So I'm very happy to finally have him. Uh, and this also completes the, I think it's 1985 Autobots uh, Legends figures from my collection. So now I finally have those. I don't have a, a Prime Master with me right now to do a comparison, but there he is. Very cool. I can feel the wheels. They feel nice. He's got two different tones of gray plastic, which is weird, um, but I, I don't mind. Because it kind of makes him feel a little dirty, and Beachcomber uh, would be one to get right into the dirt. Uh, let's see what kind of card we got. Uh, we got Prima Beachcomber. So he has... Uh, what What power does he have? What power lies beyond Beachcomber? There we go. And uh, a Valiant Warrior for Peace. Isn't that just what he is? I don't I don't understand this card. You get the power of being who you are. I am a strong independent beachcomber. Anyways, yay! Uh this is uh pretty cool. A little loose on the joints, but okay. Uh let's see. Okay, so you got a ball joint there, you got ball joints, ball joints, I love the head. That head is beautiful. I love it. A little articulation going on right there. Some knee. Knees are tight. There we go. But still, very cool. Ha! And uh, this time, uh, unlike the scout, they didn't give him weapons. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm talking about the movie scout. You guys know the one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this will open up and this should... Oh, okay, it's a sliding thing. They don't really do sliding joints anymore. And it bothers me so because we should get more sliders thingies. And then, let's see, combine that. The, the transformation on this guy is super simple once you understand that, hey, this extends down. And then, let's see, uh, close this up like so. This is not a review, this is just an opening, I want to make that clear. And then he's got little tabs that will go into the sides. And oh, that's Beachcomber! Oh, that is, that is him. That is, that is him. That is him. That is a perfect him. And I love the card now because it's him, and this is him. It's, it's all him. Ah, oh, so cool. I, I like this. A little up to date with the back, but I mean, you could tell who this is right off the bat. Oh, God. A little gappy here in the back, though. I don't know if there's. I could have sworn there's a, a panel that you could flip up, maybe? Um, so maybe I have that wrong. Uh, either way, that's, that's fine. You know, no big deal. It's even got a little bit of detail in the blue. Inside there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of detail. So, very cool. Yeah, I, I like this toy. I think it's cool. Uh, big Autobot logo on the front there. Very nice. Uh, I'd say, so far, he is my favorite Legends of Power of the Primes Wave 1. I kind of like the Slash, but she's not perfect. I like the Wind Charger, and then the Scrapnel is just... The, re-release of the original Scrapnel that I already have, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I really do like this guy. So, with that out of the way, that's pretty much it. I think you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time.